Ryan, a huge congratulations. A third championship win from you. Mate, what a goal. What a moment. That was unbelievable. Yeah, it was nice. Um, maybe a little bit lucky with it, but I thought, you know, put the keeper off with the chest rather than the head, and it, it looked like it worked. So, yeah, happy days. Right, no, Broski, mate. Mate, when that went in, dead set brought a tear to my eye, mate. You, <laughs> you are inspirational, mate. The way you get up and down, you don't see it because you're on the field, but the, the way that the crowd appreciate every single run you make, mate, I just got to congratulate you for, for not only getting the winner, but your all-round performance, mate. Brilliant, brilliant. Thanks, Broski. Obviously, it means yeah. a lot to me coming from you, mate. You're my favourite player. Everyone knows that. <laughs> you're a legend. Appreciate that, Broski. Uh, Rhino, mate, just take us back a little bit into the game in the first half. You had difficulty in that first 20, 25 minutes to half an hour where Melbourne really did put you under a lot of pressure. What changed it? Yeah, no, we didn't start great. We were a bit shaky. We couldn't get the ball on the deck and, and play football. And credit to City, they, they started really well. Uh, they came at us in that first half. Um, but I think the, going into the break, uh, we sort of took that as a, a restart. Uh, that second half, we were a little bit better again. was probably not at our best, but that's a grand final. It's a bit end-to-end um, -end at times and a bit cagey, I suppose. So we just had to ride that out um, and then make sure when we got our chances, we took them. And uh, thankfully, we got that goal and then uh, held them out. But uh, City were very good. We just uh, got a little bit lucky, I reckon. And Ryan, what was Stephen Corica's message before extra time started? What did he say to his then? Oh, yeah, what, oh, yeah, what did you say to him? What did you say to him before? <laughs> Extra time, congratulations, magnificent. But what did you say to them before extra time, Steve? Before extra time? Yeah. Well, we had them, mate. By then, I thought we were playing really well in that second half. Uh, we were dominating, and it was to con continue what, what we did in that second half. We were fit out. We, we played really well, but I thought uh, Melbourne, Melbourne City as well were excellent, especially first half. They really put us under pressure, so congratulations to them. Congratulations to this man here as well, mate. He's like the Energizer Bunny, mate. <laughs> he was amazing. He denied Curtis good at the end there as well. And I do believe in commentary, they said, if anyone's going to score off his nipple, it's going to be Ryan Grant. What a player to have in your side, Steve Corica. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, you can see when he was out a couple of games, we really missed him. And, um, yeah, he's come back at the right time. And, yeah, he's been sensational all year. He's uh, the best right back in the country, of, of course. Bimby, mate, how does it feel? I mean, standing there next to next to someone, like I said to him before, who's so inspirational. What, what, what has he given to the boys when he came back? And, and what lift did he give the boys in the semi-final and the final? You can just see what he gives, Broski. You know, he's a, he's a great guy for one. He's energetic. He just leads by example by, by doing all the running and the pressing and being aggressive. And that's, you know, that's a big part of the game these days. And he leads by example. He's been here for 10 years now and... Two goals and two grand finals, mate. It's not bad. <laughs> and Steve, uh, looking at, at the game and, and and what happened last year in Perth, you went against all the odds mm. in Perth last year. Which one feels better, last season or this one? Well, they both do. They both do, Boz. This one, uh, Robbie. This is um, yeah. It's it's not easy to go back to back. Uh, we said that from the start. Only one team's ever done it before. Uh, in the history of the A League, so well two now. Yeah, well two, <laughs> correct. So uh, it really, it really means a lot to to this team. We we set our sights at the start of the year to win the the premiership and and to do the double the championship. And you know, full credit to these boys and to all the staff. They were they were sensational throughout the year. You know, we went through that little bad patch towards the end, but the, these boys, I told you, they're experienced. They know when to turn the switch on and and to focus, and, and they did it again tonight. So the semi-final and the final was excellent.